Now in its 24th year, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is the oldest and most prestigious nationwide mathematics competition among high school students. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. Hi, my name is Hazel Joyshi. I was a past Philippine Math Olympiad national finalist. In this video, we will be using the general case of the Vietas formulas in solving some problems. Let P of X be equal to A sub N, X raised to N, plus A sub N minus 1, X raised to N minus 1, plus so on and so forth, plus A sub 1 X, plus A sub 0, be a polynomial of degree N. So that means that a sub n is not equal to 0. And r sub 1, r sub 2, dot dot dot, r sub n, be the zeros of p of x. Then, so the Vietas formula says that r sub 1 plus r sub 2 plus dot 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 plus r sub n is equal to negative a sub n minus 1 over a sub n. We have r sub 1, r sub 2, plus r sub 1, r sub 3, plus so on so forth, r sub 1, r sub n, plus r sub 2, r sub 3. So we do that up until r sub n minus 1, r sub n, equals a sub n minus 2 over a sub n, so on so forth. So um, the general rule for the Vietas formulas is that, so you take um, k roots out of the n roots, and then you take the product. So all the possible ways of doing this, you add them. So this is equal to negative 1 raised to k times a sub n minus k over a sub n. So the last one would be, so just taking the product of all the roots, r sub 1, r sub 2, dot 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 r sub n. This is equal to negative 1 raised to n times a sub 0 over a sub n. So now let us proceed. So first, we have 12 PMO qualifying stage for regions 1, 2, and CIR. Part 2, number 19, 3 of the roots of the equation 2x to the 4th plus ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 are negative 1, 2, and negative 3. What is b? So let r be the 4th root of 2x to the 4th plus ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Then, so by the Vietas formulas, so the first equation is, so negative 1 plus 2 plus negative 3 plus r is equal to 0, so which is the sum of the roots. And then the second equation, so we're taking 3 at a time. So we have 2 times negative 3r plus negative 1 times negative 3r plus negative 1 times 2r plus negative 1 times 2 times negative 3. So this is equal to negative b over 2. So now, so for the first equation, we can just transpose all the constants to the right-hand side. So we get r is equal to 2. For the second equation, so we can simplify the, right, the left-hand side. So we have negative 5r plus 6 is equal to negative b over 2. And then we can plug in r is equal to 2. So we get negative 10 plus 6, so which is equal to negative 4. So negative 4 is equal to negative b over 2. So we get b is equal to 8. So the answer is letter c, 8. Now let us proceed to the 17th PMO qualifying stage. Part 3, number 5. Let alpha, beta, and gamma be the roots of x cubed minus 4x minus 8 is equal to 0. Find the numerical value of the expression alpha plus 2 over alpha minus 2 plus beta plus 2 over beta minus 2 plus gamma plus 2 over gamma minus 2. Okay, so from the Vietas formula, so we get this alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 0. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to negative 4. And then lastly, Alpha times beta times gamma is equal to 8. 
Now, let us work with the expression. So, we can do a usual division. So, by um, segregating the quotient from the remainder. So, when we divide alpha plus 2 by alpha minus 2, so we get a quotient of 1 and the remainder of 4. So, you end up with 1 plus 4 over alpha minus 2. And then, you also do that for the other two fractions. So, you have 1 plus 4 over beta minus 2 plus 1 plus 4 over gamma minus 2. And then we can combine the constants. So we have 3 plus 4 over alpha minus 2 plus 4 over beta minus 2 plus 4 over gamma minus 2. So now, um, you can proceed with combining these three fractions. So you can get the LCD and then do the usual uh, combining. So you expect that you will be using a FOIL method. So... Um, just make sure that you can uh, that you do it uh, carefully to arrive at the correct answer. But for this video, we will be using a different way so that we can avoid using the full method. So we will be using the fact that alpha is a root of x cubed minus four x minus eight is equal to zero. So since alpha is a root, then when you plug in alpha to x, then the equation should still be um, consistent, which means that alpha cubed minus 4 alpha minus 8 is equal to 0. And then what we're going to do, we will be transferring negative 4 alpha to the other side. So we end up with alpha cubed minus 8 is equal to 4 alpha. And then, the left hand side uh, looks nice. This is a difference of 2 cubes. So you can factor this out. You have alpha minus 2 multiplied by alpha squared plus 2 alpha plus 4 is equal to 4 alpha. So now, um, we will be attempting like an inverse cross multiplication. So remember, usually we do cross multiplication when you have fractions in uh, your equation and you want to do cross multiplication to get rid of the fractions. So, but this time, you do not have a fraction and then you are trying to have a fraction. So, it's like an inverse cross multiplication, right? So, what we're going to do is we want to transfer alpha minus 2 to the right-hand side to be the denominator. So, of the right-hand side. And then, we transfer alpha to the other side to be the denominator of the left-hand side. So... So, it's as if you need to divide alpha and alpha minus 2. Um, but we cannot easily just do that because we need to make sure that what we divide is not 0. No? So, when we when we, uh, we are trying to divide by 0, so that is uh, undefined. No? So, we want to make sure that what we divide is not 0. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we check if any of the roots is 0. So, so let p of x is equal to x cubed minus 4x minus 8. And then, we're going to plug in 0. So, we have 0 cubed minus 4 times 0 minus 8. So, simplifying, you end up with negative 8, which is not equal to 0. So, that means that 0 is not a root of um, this um polynomial equation. So, which means that none of the roots that we have, alpha, beta, and gamma, is, non is um, zero. So, so, we're sure now that alpha cannot be zero. Now, we go back to the equation. So, since we know that alpha is not zero, so 4 times non-zero, this is non-zero. So, since the right-hand side is non-zero, then we know that the left-hand side is non-zero as well. So, that means that neither of the two uh, factors is um, zero as well. No? So we're sure that, so now no, what we're um, trying to divide alpha and alpha minus 2, both of them is non-zero. So now we can proceed with our inverse um, cross multiplication. So we have alpha squared plus 2 alpha plus 4 all over alpha is equal to 4 over alpha minus 2. And then we just simplify the um, left-hand side expression, so which is alpha plus 2 plus 4 over alpha. And then we also do that for the other two roots. So you know that 4 over beta plus minus 2 is equal to beta plus 2 plus 4 over beta. And 
4 over gamma minus 2 is equal to gamma plus 2 plus 4 over gamma. So now, we move back to the expression that we got earlier. So we can plug that in. And then we can uh, combine alpha, beta, and gamma. Since that's um, what we can substitute later from the Vieta's formulas. And then, we also combine together the fractions. Which is easier because we don't need to do full method since we're the, the factors are just variables. Alpha, beta, and gamma. So we have 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So we have a 9. And then plus alpha plus beta plus gamma. And then for the fraction, we have plus 4 times the quantity alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha all over alpha beta gamma. So now we can use the Vieta's formulas to substitute. So we have 9 plus 0 plus 4 min times negative 4 all over 8. So we get 9 minus 2 which is equal to 7. So the answer for this item is 7. With the last item, we will be introducing the remainder theorem. So let p of x be a polynomial when p of x is divided by the linear polynomial x minus alpha, the remainder theorem says that the remainder is p of alpha. So, which means that to get the remainder, we just need to plug in alpha to um, the x in p of x. So, let's proceed to 23rd PMO qualifying stage. Part 1, number 5. Find the sum of all k for which x to the 5th plus kx to the 4th minus 6x cubed minus 15x squared minus 8k cube x minus 12k plus 21 leaves a remainder of 23 when divided by x plus k. So now let us use the remainder theorem. So we plug in um, all the x with negative k. So this expression should be equal to the remainder which is 23. So now um, this is um, negative k to the fifth, and then this is k to the fifth. So this two cancels out. So um, this expression simplifies to positive k to the fourth. We have positive 6k cubed. We have negative 15k squared. And then we have negative 12k. And then we can transpose 23 to the other side to get negative 2. So this expression is equal to 0. So now, you end up with a polynomial equation in terms of k. So now, um, the sum of all k is um, now the sum of the roots. So now we use the Vieta's formulas. So the sum of all k is just negative the coefficient of k cubed divided by the coefficient of k to the fourth. So we get negative 6 over 8, so which is equal to negative 3 fourths. So the answer for this item is letter B, negative 3 fourths. So this ends my video, and thank you for watching. The Mathematical Society of the Philippines is the country's premier professional organization dedicated to the promotion of mathematics research and education in the country. Founded in 1973, it has grown from a small Manila-based group of math educators to a nationwide network of individuals with chapters all over the country. The Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is organized by the Mathematical Society of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology, Science Education Institute. The 24th PMO will be held online in two stages, the qualifying stage in February 2022 and the national stage in March 2022. The start of the registration is January 2022. More details are in our Facebook page and also in our webpage, pmo.ph.